So your team has decided to build a wide base. The first thing we must do is cut the C-channel. Cut two pieces to 29 inches and the rest to 24 inches. Make sure that the C faces in towards the center. Also make sure that the four short pieces are aligned. Add corner connects to the 29 inch piece. The outer corner connects will be flush with the end and the inner corner connects will be three holes away from the outer corner connect. Use the shorter of the thread forming screws to attach two pulley halves to each of the wheels. After attached, press in bearings to both sides of the wheel assembly. Next, attach the wheels to the chassis. For the front wheels, insert the 3 8 bolts through the second furthest hole in the frame. Place the large brass spacer over the bolt as you push in the bolt. Keep the belt over the pulley as you push the bolt through the wheel assembly. Then hold the small brass spacer between the wheel assembly and the C-channel. Push the bolt the rest of the way through and finger tighten the 3 8 nut. Repeat this process for the other side. Before putting in the rear wheels, we must cut two of the large brass spacers down to 1.62 inches, or about that. After doing so, the process of attaching the wheel is the same. To begin attaching the gearbox, feed the anchor bolts through the cross hex nut. The anchor bolts will be two holes apart. Place the large key into the shaft and slide the gearbox pulley on. Use the washer and button head cap screw to secure the pulley. Place the belt from the front wheel on the pulley first, and then the rear belt. After the belts are on, use the anchor bolts to line up the gearbox. Use the quarter 20 hex flange screw and a quarter 20 nylock nut to secure the gearbox. Do not tighten these all the way yet. Use the long self-threading screws to attach the cross hex between the two gearboxes. Now it's time to make sure that you've tightened everything on the chassis. Don't forget to tension the belts by tightening the cross hex nut. Congratulations, you finished assembly of the wide 2013 base. Good luck from Andy Mark. For all you 2013 FIRST Robotics Competition teams. Yay! I'd like to say hi to some of the folks back home. <laughs>